school-age children get anywhere between four and six colds a year. Now that most kids are back in school, what can you do to protect your child's health and avoid a cold or the flu? Doug Johnson has some answers. Now that schools are full of kids again, parents will begin seeing some of the sure signs of fall, the coughing, sneezing, and sniffling of cold and flu season. Having so many children in one place almost guarantees the spread of bacteria and viruses. That will also mean more visits to doctor's offices. Family nurse practitioner Heather Taylor at BMG Forest Hill Family Practice says there are steps that parents can take to reduce the risk of their children picking up an illness at school. The number one way to prevent um, the contracting the cold or flu is to wash your hands and to teach that to your children. And the CDC recommends 20 seconds of hand washing. Um, so that would be like telling your children to sing happy birthday um, at least two times, and then that will be sufficient. It's a practice that should begin early, encouraging kids to use warm, soapy water to keep clean. At home, you know, all the family members washing their hands frequently and uh, sanitizing objects that are used often, like door handles, things like that, and keeping hand sanitizer when they're on the go in the car. And so when you can't have a sink and, you know, towel around, you can use the hand sanitizer. There are also sure signs when parents should take their kids to see a medical professional. Many times, parents will automatically ask for antibiotics, but Taylor says they should wait for a diagnosis since the problem could be caused by a virus. Not everything is you know, treated with antibiotics. Um, if they have just runny nose congestion, you could start by treating those symptoms with over-the-counter over uh, remedies, getting plenty of rest, hydration, and again, washing hands. Let's say you've done everything you're supposed to do and one of your kids still comes home sick. There are definitely things you should do to keep them from spreading whatever it is they picked up. Keeping them at home is a great way to uh, prevent the spread of germs. All it takes is one sick child, you know, and you can have 10 or 12, you know, other children infected and so on. Even when a child is taking antibiotics or other medications, they'll remain contagious for the first couple of days of an illness. So families should still be careful about hand washing and using sanitizers if a child has to stay at home. And starting in October, getting flu shots will be a good idea for a lot of students to keep them from catching or spreading the flu. For Smart Medicine, I'm Doug Johnson.